We bet you didn't know that Rizzo from Greece was originally played by Adrian Barbeau. Shocking, right? Well, what if we tell you that this actress had more secrets up her sleeve? Continue watching to find out things that not even your parents will tell you about the famous Adrian Barbeau. Adrian Barbeau started her journey in films by entertaining military men. Okay, even though Adrian is not remembered for her 1972 performance in Greece, you probably do know her from her appearance in Maud starring B. Arthur. But you most definitely know her from hit movies including Swamp Thing, Creep Show, Escape from New York, and not to forget one of her best movies of all time, The Fog, which she made in collaboration with her former husband, John Carpenter. Adrian was born in 1945 in Sacramento, California. She soon moved to San Jose with her family. Here, she would attend school and get a full education. Throughout these years, Adrian didn't show any interest in the entertainment business or cinematography. The way she found out her passion for entertaining people was quite unusual. It was during the time that she was touring with the San Jose Civic Light Opera, where she started performing in front of military men throughout Southeast Asia. Even though Adrian acted in horror films, she hated watching the genre herself. The way Adrian got involved with horror films happened by accident. At the beginning of her acting career, she was not a fan of horror films, rarely even watched them. But since The Fog was her first feature film, she didn't miss the opportunity, even though she hated the fact that it was horror. However, The Fog wasn't Adrian's first professional debut. She started her journey as an actress more than a decade before the movie was released. She started performing on Broadway in 1965 when she appeared in Grease and Fiddler on the Roof. Her performance in both these plays was good enough to catch the attention of Norman Lear, which later offered her a role in Maude. Adrian did accept the offer, but this opportunity was risky enough to ruin her whole acting career. Not that the show was awful or anything, but back in the 60s and early 70s, actors that appeared in series were considered less powerful than film actors. This was because casting crews and directors believed that no one would pay money to watch a movie in a theater if the actor representing it is appearing for free every Sunday night on a cable channel. Adrian never had a clue at where she was heading in her career. In one of her most recent interviews, Adrian revealed that she never had a specific plan for her career. She simply went where the wind would blow her to. The only thing she was focused on was supporting herself as an actress, but doing so was challenging. This was because she never dreamt of becoming an actress or an entertainer. The moment she got a Tony Award for her performance in Greece, she thought that acting was good and all, but believed it was time for her to move on and try something new. As time passed, however, she saw that she had gone too far in her career, and it was too late for her to change professions. She only fell in love once, and it was with John Carpenter. When Adrian first worked with John, she was shocked by the amount of attraction she had for him. Both of them quickly fell in love. The director then came up with the idea for both of them to collaborate in another film called The Fog, which ended up being a huge success. The character of the movie would end up sticking with Adrian for the rest of her life, but after the film, her career took a low turn, and Adrian was having a hard time getting accepted into roles that she wanted. Of course, she was offered many roles, but they were mainly for horror movies that she found unbearable to act in. The most challenging role she had to play was in Creepshow. When she found out that the show had blood and horrendous scenes, she thought that she couldn't be in such a film. But the more offers she would turn down, the fewer offers she would get, and the more irrelevant she became. Money was running low at the time, and Adrian had to accept acting in Creepshow just to pay the bills. Adrian was harassed by men while acting. When she talked about the topic, Adrian was open to giving details on her experience getting harassed in the entertainment business. Hollywood throughout the 60s and 70s was built on different beliefs and the people that ran it were mostly men. Because of the imbalanced power dynamic, female harassment was a big problem. Adrian does admit that she had some experiences here and there, but she was lucky enough she didn't get harassed too often or too severely. She said that there were women she was working with that had it far worse. Adrian's most extreme story of getting harassed was by Al Cap, which was a cartoonist better known as Lil Abner. At that time, he was interviewing Adrian for a job she was interested in getting accepted. Adrian was shocked to find out when Al Cap told her that she would only get hired if she would always be willing to do what he wanted and give him pleasure. Adrian immediately put a stop to the interview and left. She is still rocking in the film industry.
In the early 80s, Adrian continued her career by appearing in The Cannonball Run, which ended up becoming a high-grossing comedy. After this success, she was accepted in acting as the wife of Rodney Dangerfield, the 1986 film Back to School. And just a few years later, she acted alongside actress and model Shannon Tweed and talk show host Bill Maher in the 1989 film Cannonball Woman in the Avocado Jungle of Death. Surprisingly, even though the actress was aging, she was nowhere near planning her retirement. The 90s were packed with opportunities for her. Adrian appeared in the 1992 film The Burden of Proof, the Drew Carey Show, where she played Oswald's mother, and gained a lot of recognition when she played Catwoman in Gotham Girls and Batman, the animated series. Adrian later went on to become a weekly book reviewer for KABC Talk Radio in Los Angeles, as well as a television talk show host. Her last appearance on TV in the 90s was as a guest star in an episode called Inter Arma Inum Silent Leagues in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, where she played Romulan Senator Kamara Kretak. Her appearance in shows became more frequent, and in 2003, she starred in Carnival. In 2006, she played in the property known as Garland. And in 2009, the actress appeared in a comedy called The Dog Who Saved Christmas as a patient in the love story Reach For Me and in the 3D animated feature Fly Me To The Moon. In the following year, Adrian decided to do something different and lend her voice to the video game God of War 3 as the Greek goddess Hera which was released in March of 2010 on PlayStation 3. She then continued her appearance in TV shows by acting in the successful ABC series called General Hospital. In 2015, she reprised her famous role as the Catwoman in the Dark Knight Rises trailer, which was originally made to promote Hub's 10-episode marathon of Batman, the animated series, and also to announce the upcoming movie. So, which is your favorite show or movie played by Adrian Barbeau? Let us know down in the comments right below, and if you enjoyed this video, check out the next one in the playlist.